Well, hello there. It's Beards and Bangers. And today you find me in the West Midlands. I'm at Studley Castle for a special photo shoot. Um, got some of my friends here as well. So, series, uh, series telling me something. Uh, but yeah, Carl, Simon, Matt, Austin are here. Matt's here in his streetwise. Yeah, we're going to have a little wander around and look at some of the cars. We're not going to do a photograph of people taking photographs because that's just ridiculous. But uh, just took it to a little man in a box. I am. Yeah. But we'll have a look around and look at some cars. Welcome to Beards and Bangers. So I'm starting off with a car that I was hoping to get footage of at Pride of Longbridge earlier this year, but it disappeared quite early. But this is a very rare Rover 75 V8 in Bacchus. Raven black over Bacchus red. Raven black over Bacchus red. So Bacchus red's a monogram colour. Um, Raven black is obviously not but this is an absolutely beautiful car rare as hen's teeth connoisseur se one of only 11 built 16 built 11 for the uk market seven for the uk market so only so only seven of these were built for the uk market so it's a very rare car sporting um vortex alloys of course because it's a, a v8 and these are very these are also very rare very desirable um alloy wheels just look inside so you've got darker wood dash uh, this is an auto of course most of the rovers were autos i think all of them, all of them yeah all of the yeah absolutely lovely um parked up fairly close we've got a moonstone club se again really nice color uh, CDTI Auto and Moonstone's a colour that's really grown on me. Wasn't overly sure what this colour was actually till fairly recently. And then there's a, there's a man over there making a video. So I'm a, I'm a man making a video of a man making a video. He's um yeah he's videoing some yew trees. Matt's Streetwise of course is here. So next year 2024 is the year of the Streetwise. Um, so we'll bring you some more uh, news on that in due course because. Uh, because oh we've got oh hello someone set some alarms off um yeah uh, of course yeah th that's uh, something we're going to be talking about some events planned for next year another 75 here and a color that i forget um but it's dorchester, dorchester that's it dorchester very nice dorchester 75 on meteor alloys with the bullet mirrors then we've got this 416 in white which is really really quite nice and my friend Carl is revving up his um, ZR 160 behind uh, got a TF here later TF um, in this color which I can't remember and then we've got this now this is a really it's a rare car with a color I've never seen before um, it really is quite something an MG SVR so very very limited numbers of these are built um, and they are very attractive very very sporty of course it's got the, the same v, the mustang v8 that the uh that the uh the, the the zt260 and rover 75 v8s have got absolutely lovely british racing green my mg maestro turbo so of course these cars are 40 years old this year so it's uh this is this is this car's celebrating a birthday We've got a trophy blue zt mark one um it's a petrol i'm not quite sure what engine it's got under the bonnet um i want to say it's a 1.8 turbo but i could be wrong and then we've got this 216 gti so this has got the k series because it's a 16 valve um got a metro mg and this car i think is fairly famous i think it's been in a few few magazine shoots i see i seem to recognize this car and its number plate and there's a rover 75 v8 just uh, pulling in behind me uh, and then we've got this remind me the color of this steel blue steel blue rover 45 it's wearing a y plate so it's pretty early as 45s go uh, but this is again a really really nice uh, interesting color i'm suspecting it's pretty rare yeah it's got some very nice cosmos wheels um and it's a saloon so it's my, my favorite shape of 45 um got 
I think it's a celestial, uh, very, very late 25. Uh, so on a 56 plate, so unfortunately they're paying a little bit more tax. Souls of Olney, they were a well-known uh, MG Rover dealer in the Milton Keynes area. Now that garage is now an, actually an Aston Martin dealership. Got some of the newer, the new MGs here. So we've got an MG6. I'm not quite sure what engine this one's got, whether it's got the uh, the Cavalci engine or it's a diesel. Um, they of course came with both. Then we've got an MG3. So the successor to the Street Rise and 25 next to it. And then next to that, we've got a very rare car. We've got John's lovely uh, white Rover 200 VI. So there's not many of these left um, on the roads. I've seen, I have seen this car already this year, but it's, it's a really nice, really, really nice example. So of course the 200 VI was the precursor to the Rover 200 BRM. And therefore by association, the precursor to the MGZR. So it's a, uh, yeah, got the 1.8 VVC engine, putting out the same power as the BRM, 143 brake horsepower, roughly. And then I've uh, got a car that I know, you might have seen this on the channel before, this is Austin's um, <laughs> Midnight Blue Excellent. Rover 75 uh, CDTI. This one's got a bit of a chip in it. I'm not gonna dwell on it too much because um, I will be reviewing this car fairly soon. You know this car, it's my Bram with, its, with his bonnet up. But next to Brown, we've got something rather special that sounds, it sounds glorious. This is a, a Rover um, 3500 Vitesse. Uh, not quite sure if it's twin plenum or not, but it, 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 we just, I just, just heard this driving off to the photo shoot and it sounds absolutely glorious. Just look at those wheels. They are a work of beauty. And it just, this car just sounds lovely. It's got a great big, stainless steel exhaust snake like of course being a an sd1 to prevent fumes getting into the the boot space um which has made the owner laugh me saying that but it's true it's true they, they they have to have that special shape exhaust so you don't get noxious fumes entering the cabin but this car looks fantastic and sounds fantastic um here's the 75 v8 that we just saw a moment ago burbling in there's the premium bumper here so that's key difference with the 75 V8 is so they've got this, this much deeper grill on the front, um, headlight washers, yeah really really give the car a real real nice appearance. Um, this is a 620 Ti so it's got the turbocharged uh, T-series engine so pretty pretty pokey, really nice colour, not entirely sure what it is. Um, yeah, really, really, really nice car. Beige leather interior as well. We've got a couple of Tomcats here, uh, of course, with their their Targa tops. So there's their detachable roof panels. Um, yeah, these are really, really quite nice to see these. And this one, this one's lovely, this colour. What colour is this? Polynesian. Polynesian. That is a really vibrant, attractive colour. The other one's Fire Frost. Fire Frost. I, I, I knew that Nightfire. one. Nightfire. 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 So we've got night fire, night fire on the right fire and uh, Polynesian on the left. MG, uh, is this an HS I think? Yeah, I think it's an HS. And we've got a 25 in the corner here, which looks really nice. Um, we've got a, a, an MGF and this sort of orangey, coppery, bronzy color, which is really attractive. Uh, this, this is a, uh, a Rover 400. So this one's got, uh, I think that's a K-Series engine. Is there a K-Series in this? No, no, that's a T-Series. T so we've got a Rover, 40, Rover 400 yeah. with a 2-litre T-Series engine. That's this one. And is this a, 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 the original engine? Yes. It is. I, I, it's news to me, as I've learned something, I did not know, I'm videoing by the way, I did not know that the um, 400 had the T-Series engine. You might get a weep of oil at the corner of the cylinder head. Yeah. Yeah. No taking it out. Yeah. Uh, and the cam mount is a duggle to change. Yeah. Yeah, just on the side, isn't it? Just pull this cover off and... Yeah, you take the cover off. The only thing is, some numpty may have done, if it's been changed, some numpty may have done the bloody big nut up with an air gun. Oh, God. And I've got the proper tool. <coughs> In fact, if you want to take and make, you can borrow the tool if ever you know. I haven't got one of these. I haven't got a, unfortunately, I've not got a T-Series powered car, but I, I've... I mean, the engines are, it's, it's a beautiful car to drive. Yes. 
130 horsepower, right. But they reckon if you do all the work to them, you can get 500 horsepower out of them. Oh, I'm, well, I've, I've, I've driven an 820 Vitesse, and that was that was fun. That was fun, but um, but no, I didn't, something I've learned today is I did not know that they put the T series in the 400. So, well, when I bought it, I amused over the fact that they're supposed to be used a lot of fuel. All you have to do is be a little bit choosy. If I want to go into town, I go on the train because it's less than the car park. Yeah. Not that I can use the car park because it's 86. I can't understand that bloody big chart where you go in an app and. Yeah. I haven't got one of those. <coughs> You're 86. Yeah. Wow. Right Wouldn't now. have believed it. <laughs> so this gentleman, 86 year old, got a great jacket on. He's got a great car in a flame red. Sorry, flame red. 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 Flame Clever. There we are. Look, just look at this. Look at these seats. Great big leather, grey leather seats. Absolutely love them. They just look so comfy. And that's yeah, just really, really beautiful car. And and a learn for me. Who knew? T Series were in. Two hundred and seventy-five pound insurance. Yeah. It gets loaded because of your age. So. Yes. Then they gave me a renewal this year, 1,200 quid. Yeah. And they never even answered the emails. So no. I farmed around and I found a wonderful company, um, far better than the one that their club advertises, Footman James. Yes. Uh, and one of the things they said was for £15, you can keep the salvage if it gets written off. 15 now, quid. One of the bi I had a, a, a Fiat Panda and it got. Actually, I was a victim of a crash for cash, so the police said, but we can't prove it. And they wrote it off, and he could have repaired it for four or five hundred. Yeah. So if somebody ran into this and broke the bumper, they'd pay me out, and then I could have it. I could repair it or get it repaired. So I've done that. So, Brilliant. So, and I'm paying. Well, the actual car insurance itself is three hundred and sixty quid. Well, it should be. Now, Flip and James are good. I got. I got a good price from them as well so nice talking to you yeah thank you yeah you can we're going to wander over here because we've got another t-series yeah. we've got a rover 800 but it's not just any rover and it's a rover 800 coupe so another t-series powered car i'm getting a very nice whiff of petrol coming from somewhere exhaust burnt petrol and it's very nice yeah so vitesse coupe these are really good fun to drive um yeah, so here's another, yeah, the other T-Series. Of course, this one's got the turbo, of course, because it's a Vitesse. So I, I think it's put out about 200 brake horsepower, so pretty, pretty, uh, pretty pokey. And, uh, yeah, very, very light steering, very nice to drive. Uh, that's an Astra, so we won't look at that. Um, we've got an RV8 here. I think we've seen this one before this year. Um, yeah, and, of course, these are the, the re redesigned MGB. Um, got a another rover 800 coupe uh, sorry ha, uh, fastback here this one's about to have some adjustments by the looks of it so and that's got the uh 2.7 liter honda v6 so this is a, a honda powered 800 f plate so what's that 89 90 something like that um where are we very nice blue um sd3 next to uh X Power Grey ZTT. I think this is a V8. I'm not sure. No, it's a 190. I did hear this coming in. It's very nice. And we've got this very rare monogram garnet Rover 25 on an O2 plate. Um, the only one built. And it's a very, very attractive car. Now, this car here is not a stranger to the channel. So this is uh, Carl's, or I should say Jack's, um, Jack's ZR160. So Jack was taken, uh, taken far too young, um, but yeah, Carl's kept this car going. 
absolutely doesn't doesn't skimp on it at all and uh yeah it's great it really stands out in this in this uh, celestial blue it's really really nice this is an interesting car this is a uh, a cowley built uh, con uh sorry club se two liter v6 manual um and the gentleman who owns it actually used to work in the publicity or marketing department of uh, uh at rover uh, so yeah that, that this you could not hear this car come in earlier the engine is so quiet it's uh it's unbelievable um just looking cars have got a bit scattered around this car park so here's another t so another 620 ti so another t-series powered car here um again these are pretty pokey nice bit of power and then we've got this now i've seen this before this is a I don't think it's a press car, but it's certainly a very early um, MG ZS um, 180 in trophy yellow. It's uh, yeah, it, it, do, it definitely does stand out. Team uh, the Banana MG, as a lot of them say. But yeah, that's it's a saloon. So again, it's for me the more attractive. Um, yeah, I think we saw this at the oh one of the one of the days at Gaiden I've been to. But yeah, really nice car. I like that a lot. A couple just come back in, so we've got this Rover 100, so P4, lovely twin tone, uh, Auntie Rover. We do like these. And then over here somewhere, we've got something a little more elderly. We just have a wander over to it. We have got a Rover 10. Now just look at this. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? So yeah, Pope just after the war. Look at the shape of that saloon. That's a real, it's actually not, it's not that sedate. It's got a slightly sporting feel to it. There's the SVR just uh, driving off. That just sounds absolutely nuts. We've got this splendid blue um, MGB GT V8 and th the engine on this is incredibly quiet. You can barely hear it other than when he revved it to reverse it. So yeah, it's obviously a very well looked after engine with a pretty, yeah, pretty kind of damping exhaust on it. But yeah, sound, very nice condition and sounds, yeah, lovely because it's quiet. So I can reveal what we're doing here. We're actually, this is a photo shoot for two events. So number one is quite an obvious one. 2024 is the launch, or sorry, the, the uh, 120th anniversary of Rover's first car. Now, of course, Rover did build vehicles before their first car in 1904. And those, of course, were push bikes. So Rover were a bicycle manufacturer originally. Uh, but also some people, it's controversial perhaps, but it's also the 100th anniversary of MG. So for some people it's 924, some people it's 923. But the MG Car Club are using the 1924 as the anniversary. So MG 100, 2024. So by the time you watch this, there'll have been an official launch at the NEC at the classic car show and there'll be loads of publicity with photographs of all these cars mine included uh in various publications and websites going forward so thank you for watching uh, like subscribe obviously year of the streetwise next year as well so lots going on so uh see you next time beards and bangers goodbye